Good morning, everyone, and this is Geister, your friendly neighborhood Titan, and you from 2021, my video of the new year. Um, as some of you probably know, I, I this I didn't make a, a few videos. Um, I had some medical issues, and dealing with that just kind of really in my ability to make videos. But now I am able to make more Destiny videos, as well as you know I'm going to be doing um, Gundam videos as well. So you know. You guys are all asking, okay, what are, you know, why are you here, uh, Geister? Why, you know, why am I, you know, wh why should I be watching this video? Well, today's video is really going to be focusing on raids, uh, specifically the Deep, St Deep Stone Crypt. Now, before I go into this, uh, let me just uh, say, you know, if you do like this video, um, please like, like, every like really helps my channel like me. Um, if you do like the content, you want to see more of it, please subscribe, because it really does be great. And uh, now before we talk, really talk about raids and stuff like that, I think someone, you have to know what you're talking about. You have to be a team expert, and you have to have the ability to say, you know, what, um, you know, when you talk, you know, you with some, some form of uh, knowledge that, you know, people say, hey, yeah, he's been to the raids, you know, talk about. So, on that note, as you can see, I have raid armor, and if someone's going to say, well, you don't have the chest piece. Well, you know, right here, here's the chest piece. Um, I also have, you know, some of the raid weapons. I have the uh, sniper rifle, I have the shotgun, and of course, I have the eyes of tomorrow. So, <clears throat> and I, and that's on two here. So, on the raid front, I mean, I've been on Destiny since the beta test. I've done, uh, you know, Volk, which is the most favorite raid, and I'm being very hesitant and skeptical with them we vote back when they're going to change it uh so you know hope they don't that the mechanic too badly uh, i played crota i played the taking i've done uh this shiva i've helped with prime i've gotten the you know i did the the calorie you know crown sorrow you know, extra pass got into the salvation you know those so i really know what i'm talking about when i do doing raid work you know i do know what i'm how, Things should be, and I've done it enough times to have some, to say I'm an expert. So now you guys are saying, okay, you know, guys, sir, you know what you're talking about. Okay, we'll give it to you. But really, what's your problem? Deepstone Crypt? Well, the point I have with Deepstone Crypt is a lot of what I call artificial uh, difficulty. Difficulty that's there not to make the game required, required um, to make the game challenging or difficult. It's more of they, the um, they have this artificial intelligence just for the second heart. That's what it comes to. It's like you just barred you know, to be like uh, more difficult. You know, the the have, you know the six in mechanic forcing rotation. Uh, you have one player that's really good at one so they don't, they don't really build a good team. Um, it's, and the mechanics are just really good. So you know, so you guys are gonna say, okay, well, what do you mean, Dust? Okay, let's start off from the very first beginning of the game. You have the speech and you have to go try bikes you know point the point now it, it's already dark cloudy you're trying to find your and you have people shooting and have to add article intelligent i mean the official um difficulty of oh now you also can freeze it down so you have like you know, a certain amount of time or you freeze. i'm sitting there going okay i understand the mechanic but why does that mechanic have to be in the normal mode of the raid why can't be in the, um a episode where you know that difficulty makes sense but you know, when you talk about people who just want to have fun in this raid, they can do so without the um, the fear of, you know, worrying about, you know, all this extra stuff that they need, you know, that will die, they can just game and do it. And another that comes up to mind is the whole, um, when you get to the next part, when you have to get to the scanner and the operator thing, once again, that is just... A really a false difficulty. I mean, there's so many better ways they could have made a plenty better mechanics, and it, they just completely um, really dropped the ball on that. And it's that I really feel that it's like it's not fun to play. Uh, let me sum it up right here. If so, grip is not a way. And so I say, oh guys, so what is fun in your opinion? Oh, all the guys is fun rate because when you played it. When you get it, it gives you the ability to enjoy the game either what. You you know, every encounter was fun to do, it wasn't stressful, um, 
you know, it, it was really enjoyable. And then if you wanted that extra oomph of difficulty, you know, you had, you had the prestige mode. But, you know, regular mode, which is fun, and every weapon, you know, you felt like when you got a certain weapon, you know, you could say, hey, this it was worth it. I really feel good about it. You know, deep zone grip, um, you know, if I may go real quick right here. As you can see on here, I have, you know, several deep zone grip weapons, you know, eyes tomorrow. So I know what I'm, I really know what I'm talking about here. And got these weapons, like, you know, was it really worth my time? You know, was it really worth my to get those weapons? Uh, versus, like, in Vogue, we have the um, the Atheon rifle, the NK, and you're like, you play in when you like, feelings of accomplishment. And I just don't that um, anymore. It's just, you know, you have official stuff. It's it's more like the raids are developed more for streamers. Um, and that's, you know, not good things. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it should really be set, you know, for above for when they make the game, you know, if that's, you know, is the game fun? Is it challenging? You're not the challenge reason. And Bungie really drop all on me now. Because, um, oh, a little note, don't make sure there's, there's nothing in front of you when you use a rocket launcher. Good safety lesson, Egon. Uh, back to what I was saying. <laughs> and I do digress. Um, you know, it, it has to be fun. And I really think that they, what if fun is no longer there. Instead, it is, um, it, yeah, a lot of frustration, you know, a lot of, you know, one person makes a mistake, the whole types where, if you look at Vogue and Crow, go all the way, you can solo them, but in real listen, you did a real, as long as four people were alive at a given time, you know, the risk still doable. And this one, you know, fails any of the sections, the whole, so it's an automatic wipe. It's just, you, you can't progress. And that, that just adds another level. And I know there's going to be streamers out there who say, well, you know, if you don't like it, you should be player it, or maybe I should be better at the game. But I'm like, that's not what I'm talking about. Uh, because as I have the, the, the I, as I demonstrated on my screenshots here, you know, I got the armor, I got weapons, I got the, you know, so it's not a quite my ability to play. This is more of a question of content. And I'm thinking about content. You know what really pissed me off? Here we are doing everything that deals with Clovis Bray and Anna Bray and um, the stranger. And so I was really expecting, I was really, really, really expecting when the, um, that when I was in the final boss, I some version of Bray, like the big scary head that um you know we go see in the game you know we either go straight but it wasn't um it wasn't like that at all you see it's this freaking guy you you know to get the the um sniper phone. um really uh you know that that you got really did you know you bring like some deep you know deviant of uh Crota, i'm not Crota, i'm sorry uh clovis and you know, going in that direction, and you know the whole thing of us going against Tanits. I just, you know, even the law doesn't make sense to me that you know they made that part of the raid. It just doesn't make any sense to me, not in any way, shape, or form. Especially when you consider that they could be, you know, done such more with the game and uh, you know, with that. So the mechanics it needs to. I think they need to rethink. They really need to think. Rethink. I mean, when I did some grip, the first thing that came to mind is. You know, do these people actually really play the game? Because, you know, to me, I'm like, okay, you guys are doing this, but is, you guys made it, you know, not just challenging, but it's useful. And I want to raid, you know, do a raid that stresses me. If I, you know, do a raid that stresses me, I'll, I'll select you and I'll go fair. Uh, otherwise, you know, let me, you know, raid and shit. I'm not saying, like, nerf the raid. Nerf it. So, no, no, that's, that's not what I'm talking about at all. I am just talking about, you know, Separating the raids, you have a you have one, and your raids, you know, even challenging, you know, fun to play when it comes to. And, you know, if we can, if, if they can do that, I'd be much happy. Uh, it's so, so, and you know, what they're going to do with coming back next month, because, you know, they already announced that they're going to be changing. And I was going to chant, are you going to these stupid ass um, mechanics? Are you going to take away, you know, the full team ability? Are you going to take away them to solo? Uh, all that is coming in. So those are the antings of your friendly neighborhood Titan talking about raid. Why he thinks the Eve's Crypt is probably by far one of the worst raids ever made by by Bungie. Um, and with with that, 
So I'll leave it at the end of the video here and expect more Destiny videos to come. Uh, as well as I'll be expanding, I'm going to be doing Gundam uh, videos and Cyberpunk videos uh, as well. So you can expect to see those in the future coming up. But uh, in the meantime, Guardians, until you my next video, show them your life.